In this part of the tutorial, we're going to make changes to the existing President's Quiz app to have the app load its data from the Firebase database instead of having it hard-coded inside the app. So if I go over to the Blocks Editor, uh, the first thing that I've done, uh, and I've done this already, is I've deleted all the lists that were in here before with all the data about the President's Quiz, and I've replaced those lists with these uh, initial empty lists. So right now, the only thing uh, when the app starts up that we have in these lists is uh, just a null. The next thing we have to do is we have to query the database when the app is first starting up to get all the information for the questions, the answers, and the pictures. So we're going to use the screen initialize event to do that and what we've got here in these three purple blocks are queries to the Firebase database. This one queries for the question list, this one queries for the answer list, and this one queries for the list of the file names for the images. Now I just want to call your attention right here to what happens if an error comes back and one of these lists is missing for some reason. Uh, we want to display an error message somewhere in our app, but you notice that I've turned that one in individual element into a list, and the reason that I've done this is that later on in the app when we make use of this uh, this data, it's expecting a list. So if we don't have a list here, it's going to uh, show some sort of cryptic error message to the user, and we're looking to avoid that by uh, taking this item and turning it into a list. Only when Firebase has responded to all three queries can we start the process of displaying the first question to the user in the app. Now we have a problem here because these three requests are all asynchronous. That means there's no guarantee as to the order in which these are going to be received. So even though I asked for the images file last, that does not mean that this is going to be the last piece of information that I receive from Firebase. So in order to uh, guard against any kind of a awkward uh, return sequence here, I've created this new global variable called items not finished, and I've uh, set it equal to three. The reason it's three is because there are three queries here. And then what happens in the got value each time I get a response from Firebase in my app is I'm going to decrement the counter, this uh, items uh, not finished loading variable, by one. And when this counter gets all the way to zero, that's when we'll know that all three queries have been responded to by the Firebase uh, database. And then we only then will we call this next uh, uh, display next question to get the uh, app started in terms of displaying everything to the user. Now look at these blocks over here. Look at how simple they are. Here I'm checking to see uh, which piece of information has been returned by uh, the Firebase. If the tag value is questions, then we know that the what the value is that's been returned contains the list of questions. So for example, if I wanted to uh, load the question list, uh, all I do is I set my global question list to this value that's been returned by the database. So as a reminder, uh, that value is going to be this list right here consisting of the four questions. And I can load that entire list with this single line. So it's extremely efficient. And I'll, uh, I can do the same thing with the right answer list and the images list based on which one came back. Okay, so once I have got the uh, returns uh, for all three of these queries, uh, this variable is going to go all the way down to zero, and then I'm going to start by displaying the very first question, and this part of the code uh, should be the same as what you had before in your President's Quiz app that you wrote originally. Before we test our app, there's one other event we should code just for a little insurance. What happens if instead of returning the information that we want, Firebase returns some sort of error? By coding this event block for a Firebase error, we can display whatever message is returned by Firebase to the user using a notifier. In order to use this notifier in the designer block, I've gone ahead and opened up my user interface palette and dragged a notifier over to here, which drops down as a non-visible component. In the block section, I'm using the notifier show alert method to print whatever message is returned by the Firebase error event onto the screen for the user to see for several seconds. It's time to test the app now, so I've uh, compiled it and I'm running it in my emulator. And it seems to be working fine, except uh, the one issue is that the picture related to uh, President Carter is not loading. 
So I suspect I've probably misspelled something. So if I go over back to the database, uh, here I see that uh, I misspelled President Carter's last name. So I'm just going to go and fix that and bring my cursor past the double quote and hit enter. And now I'm just going to restart my app and see if that fixed that problem. I've restarted the app. I haven't had to recompile it, of course, because the only change I needed to make was in the database. And now when I come over to the question about China, President Carter's picture is now displaying fine. Okay, that pretty much concludes the basic part of the app. Now we're going to add some enhancements in the next section.